This test tip explains how to configure performance indicators and summary performance indicators on the pages of the review area. Performance indicators and at a higher level summary performance indicators provide a medium for setting thresholds for important call center statistics and visually displaying when conditions for these statistics are normal or marginally to critically exceeding acceptable levels. To understand how performance indicators and summary performance indicators work, we must go to the review area of My Task Contact. The default page of the review area is the My Call Center page. The summary performance indicators section of this page can contain links to queues, queue groups, agents, or agent groups. As with many other areas of the My Task Contact, this section of the My Call Center page is automatically populated with the queues you selected when you first logged into the My Task Contact. To the left of each link is an icon. A green square indicates that the performance indicators for that resource are within the desired expectations. A yellow diamond indicates one or more performance indicators for the resource are within the warning range. And finally, a red circle indicates one or more performance indicators for the resource has reached a critical level. From the My Call Center page, click the Support link to open the detail page for this queue. Click the Edit link in the Performance Indicators title bar. Choose to add an indicator and in the page that follows, select Maximum Time to Answer from the Available Performance Indicators list. Enter 30 for the warning value to represent 30 seconds and 60 for the critical value. Save the performance indicator and return to the previous page. Now, when a caller waits in the support queue for longer than 60 seconds, the summary performance indicator for this queue will be a red circle. Add another indicator and this time select number of abandons. Input 3 for the warning value to indicate the warning should occur after 3 abandoned calls, and 5 for the critical value. Save your changes and return to the Support Queue Detail page. The Performance Indicator section now contains the performance indicators that were just added with icons that represent their status. Return to the My Call Center page. The Support Summary Performance Indicator will now indicate when either of the Support Queue Performance Indicators are exceeding the warning or critical thresholds. If the Summary Performance Indicator does indicate a warning or critical threshold breach, clicking the Support link and viewing the Performance Indicators on the Support Queue Detail page will immediately show where the problem lies. Next, we'll add a Summary Performance Indicator for an agent. From the My Call Center page, click Edit in the Summary Performance Indicators title bar. The Edit Summary Performance Indicators page displays the number of Summary Performance Indicators present on the My Call Center page. Click the Agents Edit link to display the list of agents. Enable the checkbox for Ford, save your selection, and return to the My Call Center page. Go to the Detail page for Ford and add Performance Indicators using the same method that was used for the Support Queue. Here we will add the Total Outgoing Calls Performance Indicator and set the Warning value to 5 and the Critical value to 1. Save your changes and return to the Detail page for Ford. The red circle indicates that he has not made the required number of outgoing calls for the day. Clicking the number of out calls takes you to the Out Calls section of the page so you can review the details of these calls. You now know how to program and interpret the performance indicators.